Savers, runners, and other people looking to take advantage of their time on this planet. If you're watching this video, there is a good chance you just purchased this. Fortunately, our products are very innovative and come with a multitude of features that you probably haven't seen before. Unfortunately, this may cause some confusion or might be hard to understand what some of the features on the bag can do. No worries, as I'm gonna spend this next 10 minutes telling you everything about your bag and how to operate. In the description below, you will find timestamps of how to fix your bladder, how to change out your nozzle, how to utilize the pockets. Go ahead and skip to wherever you need help with your Rave Runner setup, or watch the video in its entirety to get a full scope of how to use your Rave Runner. Let's jump into this. You just received your Rave Runner and you are stoked. Right now, all Rave Runners come with this bladder. If it is before the end of the summer of 2024, your bag will come with that bladder. We are in the midst of upgrading to a much better, more reliable and durable bladder from Hydropack. If you're watching this video past summer of 2024, you will have this bladder. We are always asking people to please fill up their bladder and test it to ensure it does not leak. Additionally, test the nozzle to ensure that water flows freely. If it does leak for some reason, hit us up. We'll send you a new one free of charge. If you have this bladder, it will not leak. To change the nozzle, you're just going to twist and pull as hard as you can if needed. Also ensure that the bottom of the tube is screwed into the bladder correctly. Now with the new bladders, you actually could go ahead and detach the bladder from the tube without taking the tube out of your bag. This makes it easier to fill up at a refill station without getting your entire bag wet. If you've purchased a filter for your new HydroPack bladder, you could go ahead and put it in between the tube and the bladder itself. You may have ordered a dual chamber bladder. Great choice. There are two different compartments to this bladder. To refill the clear or run side, go ahead and unscrew the nozzle and pour water in. To refill the rage or red side, slide the plastic top off and go ahead and pour water in. If for some reason you cannot get water on either side, go ahead and make sure the tubes have not kinked inside of your backpack. Now let's get this hydration pack lit. If you bought an underglow, remove the white cap it comes in and add it to the mesh netting. You can either pull the product out of the mesh netting to find the on and off switch, or just find it while it's still in the netting. An acquired skill would be to grab it while you're still wearing it, find the on off switch and turn it on and off. There is a good chance you bought EL wire to stay lit. Let's thread that together. Always put in batteries first to ensure that the EL wire works properly. Open up the bag from the back pocket. Inside there, you'll find where the bladder hose goes through the wall. Go ahead and hook your EL wire battery compartment onto that. Then go ahead and stick your EL wire through that little hole and then out the headphone jack on the exterior of the bag. Pull it all the way out and then begin lining your hydration pack. You could get creative with it or you could follow me on how to line it all the way around. Here's how to thread it with one two meter long EL wire. Thank you. 
Then go ahead and stick the remainder back into the headphone jack so that it looks sharp and organized. The solar charger should come equipped with a piece of Velcro inside the packaging. We highly recommend adding a little bit of super glue so that it sticks much better than the sticky on the Velcro provides. Now you might have also bought a charm chain. Our charm chains are all a little bit different sizing. Some go zigzagged, some just go straight across. Truthfully, you can do whatever you want, but these tend to look the best if done this way. While the hydration pack is anti-theft, obviously, chest pockets, we've got a clutch loop hooked on here. Can't get into the main compartment unless it's off your back. Although it is anti-theft, we cannot prevent someone from stealing the entire bag. So what we recommend is grabbing an Apple AirTag or tile, putting it in the secret pocket and zipping it up. This way, when someone steals your entire bag, you can hunt them down and show them what it's like to catch these hands. Am I inciting violence? Not exactly. But those who commit crimes and steal my and my friend's stuff deserve catching hands. We are big fans of the fuck around and find out mentality. If you do not agree with that mentality, please feel free to return your Rave Runner. All right, let's get into wearing your Rave Runner. I am an ultra marathon runner. I have worn pretty much every style of hydration pack. I am aware of what feels good and what does not. When putting the bag on, be sure to utilize our conforming straps across your chest. Clipping these takes a lot of pressure off your shoulders and makes it feel much lighter. Now, I am no woman, but if you are packing some cannons, you can maneuver these straps up and down to fit your torso. It is also ideal to tighten the lower straps as well. You want the pack sitting up high on your back. This will prevent it from bouncing and causing abrasions. Final things to think about when caring for this bag, washing it, I'd put it in the washer alone and not with other items, wash it on cold and let it air dry. All right, let's pack your Rave Runner here. Open the main anti-theft compartment. You're gonna be able to fit an entire full-size sweatshirt and a pair of sweatpants in here. Yeah, everyone's like, it looks small. It's not that small. Wallet in the back anti-theft pocket little water bottle action on the side these mesh pockets really expand other mesh pocket <clears throat> i'm gonna put my gopro mount you could put a wand or a fan because there's this little strap that holds it in then i'm gonna put these rave goggles in the back panel on my sweatshirts so they don't poke anything Obviously some hater blockers going in the right hand chest pocket. A little protein bar action with my GoPro mount. Let's get that clutch loop on there. No phone getting stolen up in this biz. Clip that phone on there and then phone is gonna go into the right, excuse me, left strap pocket. All right, I'm gonna flip the bag around. Stuff I don't care about, like electrolytes, gum, phone charger, vape, all going in the outside pocket. And then boom, we are ready to rip it. See you at the next fest. Comment below any other questions.